Where's that hecking on button? Ooh, I found it! Let's play! Good evening everybody, Luke here with another Mystery Monday and this week we have Scorch, another free Steam game. Link is in the description below as always, but yes, this one looks very interesting because it's like a detective light walking simulator slash puzzler thing and that sounded fascinating to me. So yeah, after last week's tree where I was on set with plenty of emotion, uh, let's say, uh, let's jump into Scorch and see what it is all about. So let's see because the only thing I've done is turn on subtitles because I'm aware that subtitles are a very important thing uh, for those that might have difficulty hearing what's going on in the game on occasion. I know I certainly do. So, let's see. Ooh. And I have a buzzy phone. So, I'm going to pick up the phone. Hello. Gonzalez. What's going on? Good morning. Oh. How are you? Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm voiced, it seems. Sounds like you're sober this time. I'm always sober. I'm a sober battle. Yeah, well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? <sighs> Very funny, Gary. Listen, oh, all of those shades of orange are gorgeous. Mm, sure. Autumn is my favourite season, as uh, Mike Hill was found death in his shed. bloody he hell, as mentioned in Tree, so yeah. this looked visually stunning to me. Okay, so, it seems we have one day to solve a murder. Murder, murder, murder. So, Millican Way and Tulatin Hills Ranger Station. So we're going to go this way because we were walking this way. But yeah, oh, the leaves. Oh, the leaves are beautiful. Um, yeah, I I saw this after playing Tree and I'm like, oh, I said how much autumn is my favourite season. And then this, the scorching leaves and just like, ah, oh, the, the walk through a forest. Oh, it's, oh yeah, I've got to play it. God rays everywhere. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, what do we have here? Beaverton Cool, Forest Ranger perished in deadly fire. Beaverton citizens in turmoil again. Beaverton, Mike Hill, uh, I believe uh, Christian 43, a forest ranger in Tulleton Hills National Park, died in a terrible fire yesterday evening. Hill's body was found inside a small shed near his own forest ranger cabin. The local officials suspect murder. Yesterday at 4pm, a nearby jogger reported seeing smoke and called the fire department. So it was 4pm yesterday. Soon after, the local police department was also alarmed. The local police is currently investigating this tragic event. Who or what has caused the fire? Officials suspect that it may have been murder, but it is too soon to say. One police detective is looking into this. A similar fire happened 30 years ago when the Parker family perished, and only the youngest child, Jay Parker, survived. He's probably the culprit. The culprit was never found. Has the same person struck again? It was probably Joe Parker. Our condolences go out to Hill's family and friends. Yeah, I think uh, suspect number one, Jay Parker right there. Seems that someone has forgotten today's newspaper here. Press tap. Ooh, click on evidence to suspect. Ooh, sweet. So I've got a profile. Police, I am Gary Price and I have resources. Ooh, okay, cool. So we're going to keep wiggling. The The one thing I will say is, although the visuals are gorgeous, the voice acting isn't as good as I would otherwise hope. But again, free game. Got to take everything with a pinch of salt. Let's see what this is like. So, hello. Ooh, things on grounds. Gasoline. Or petrol. Petril. Cheeseoid hates self. Petril. Oh dear. Okay. So we've got this. And where are we? Tualatin National Forest Ranger Station. <gasps> An axe. Can I pick that up? It's a sharp axe. Okay. Just going to uh, open the door there. Here's Johnny. Okay, we've got a sm How did this vase break? And why is it still lying here? Hmm. Now, I hope I don't waste my time with this. Me too. Me too. So we've got... Okay. Hey Mike, how are you? I know uh, that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed, please. Okay. Hello Michael, it's Jason from Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? It's been forever. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. Mike, it's me again. You better not snoop around 
around anymore. You won't find out anything anyways. Just keep to yourself, Hill. I've got a lot to lose here. Okay, Mike Hill sounds like uh, an interesting character. We'll have to keep an eye out for him. From Jason for Mike. Okay. An action figure. Yeah, that's kind of odd. Why does it have a ribbon on it? That is indeed a little strange. Okay, ooh, ooh. Notes, notes, fridge. Rice, rice crispy. Okay, that's... Nope, nope, don't look at it, don't look at it. No advertising here, nope. Not at all. Stay out of my game advertising. Ellie, and what do we have? Ooh, mushrooms. Animals in the forest. The forest ranger codex, spelt wrong. Uh, Woodcutting 101. Oregon forest guide. Oregon trail. We have now died of diarrhea for no apparent reason. And, ooh, ooh, things. Things, open the door. Ooh, it's locked. Well, you know, like, when you come across a locked door, you're like, I have to get in there. So, we're going to look around for a key. Um, I do have an axe, so can I apply axe to axe? It's a sharp axe. Indeed it is. Can I? <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. We can drag things around. <gasps> is this a, um, ooh, ooh, yes. Puzzles, yes. I like this. Point and click adventure, but in 3D, I can get behind that. Okay. What do we have up here? I don't know if that's copyright. Oh. I don't know if that's copyright music, so I'm, I'm going to have to turn that off, unfortunately, but I jam out to that. Okay, so what's going on over here? Some dirty dishes. And open these up. Anything in the garbage? Ooh, maybe. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, nope. There's usually a junk drawer. Do do people in the United States have junk drawers? Oh, key, 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 key. Well, look what I found here. Yes. A key. Always a spare. Oh, God. Yeah, the voice acting really isn't that good. I uh, was most certainly prefer if there was no voice voice acting. But there you go. Again, pinch of salt and all that. Oh, a pin up. Don't look at it. <laughs> This is a good innocent batter. We don't look at pinups, so there we go. Ooh, no. Uh, anything I can pick up? Yes. Okay, Jason Parker. Um. So apparently I'm Mike. So let's have a look around for a Mike. Uh, Mike Hill. Yeah, he looks like he's got those murder eyes right there. Join us. You're gonna regret this, Jason. This looks like an old high school memory. Yeah. Oh, another thing. 25-year reunion. Come and catch up with old friends. Um, 6th of October, Friday the 6th. Like to put this in the bin? Um, what did the newspaper say? What's the date? Monday the 9th of October. So the high school re reunion has already been. So that that's throwing up red flags straight away. Um, enter password. I don't have a password. But it looks like I'm definitely Mike because I've still got those slight murder eyes. So um, it's normally passwords lying around. Business card. Mike's therapist, okay. Um, one, two, three. Are you kidding me? Now, what is this? Some sort of secret password? One, two, three, four. Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four. <sighs> Worst password ever. Okay, let's check this out. So, earliest to latest. Uh, this lunchbox will blow your mind. Okay, that's just... um. Just a bit of spam. October 6th, save the date, former students. We're all getting together for a reunion, Mike. I hope you've been doing well in your little hut up there. Jason will be there too. Maybe the two of you could finally make amends. Anyway, I, I hope you're well, Jessica. New Ranger equipment. Hey, Mike, just wanted to inform you that it's time to get rid of that old rifle of yours. I know you've become quite attached, just the two of you and all, but it's really time to get a new one. Regulations and all. Don't set the forest on fire. Okay, Mike's uh, beginning to look more and more suspicious. Hey Mike, it's Jessica again. We've missed you at the party. Well, maybe we'll see you next time. Jason seemed like he wanted to tell you something. Anyways, I attached a photo of us. Schedule changes? Hi Mike, I just wanted to remind you that we arranged schedules. Or we changed schedules, apologies. Y uh, your turn on the watchtower is on Saturdays now. Please don't forget like you did last time. Just a heads up, Susan. And Susan again? Alright, so I couldn't reach you on the phone. First off, let me, let me remind... Let me remind me of your position. Words. I could fire you any time. Don't do anything rash. You should consider your options. This isn't as simple as you think. This is none of your business, but you should know that I never hurt anyone. Susan. Okay. So, I just want to quickly check. So, that was the newspaper. Uh, Mike. And, and my name's Mike. Right? Okay. 
Okay, my bad. I thought Mike was the killer when he was the victim. I don't have a very high perception, okay? I'm blind as a batto, so, you know, my perception is generally low. So, now I'm considering that, if we have a look over here, Jason might be the, the, the number one uh, worst detective ever. Okay. High school. A broken action figure. Yeah, this thing is ancient. Obituaries. David and Jane Parker. Funeral services for David and Jane Parker were held November 4th, 1987. Mrs. and Mrs. Parker were born May 2nd, 1955, and December 1956, respectively. They both passed away in a tragic house fire. Okay, so Mike's parents perished, and then Mike has perished under the same circumstances. Well, why did Mike keep this? That is very suspicious. Nothing around the back, nothing around the front. Okay, we're going to keep wiggling around, seeing what we can. Doesn't seem to have much going on up here. He's got first aid kit though. Mm. Oh, hello. Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. <laughs> You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy report. Oh, I do like this little house. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. Oh heck. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. Damn. Forensics identified a wound on his head which axe. presumably rendered him unconscious. Not axe. Hmm, okay. Anything else? Hill had traces of antidepressant medication in his Yeah, we know that already. Right, that's good to know. And what was the last thing he consumed? Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. Okay. Interesting. We saw coffee. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. An empty gasoline can. Or petrol can. As uh, we Brits say. Okay, so... We know he was seeing a therapist, because we ha had that note. Um, my my bad, I really thought Mike was like the killer, but he was the one that was killed, so I feel bad now. Anti I wonder what led the victim to take antidepressants. Probably bullying at a younger age, or the loss of his parents at a young age. I mean, this guy d didn't seem to have it easy, you know? Okay, uh, nothing that... Ooh. Okay, he does have a gun. Um, but we knew about that. Coffee! Some of these coffee mugs were just recently used. Chemotherapy pills? Isn't that some kind of chemotherapy pill? Oh, God. This, this guy wasn't dealt a good hand by life, was he? Oh, man. Lasagna. There we go. Mmm. Yummy. You, you are the worst detective ever. You thought that the... The, the guy, the... Ah! Uh, you thought that the heckin' victim was the murderer, and now you're eating the victim's leftover lasagna. You are the worst detective! D d the worst! Ah! Uh, I'm getting out of here before I eat a anything else, but what's this? Hmm. Why is there a matchbox lying here? Okay. Did he... Did he... Did, was it a suicide? Matches inside his own home. He had coffee, he had lasagna, suffering from cancer. Nothing is going well for this guy. But wh why would he douse him? Why would he douse himself? Curious. He seemed to suffer bullying from a young age. He had a broken toy that was then replaced by his childhood rival. See, I'm a terrible detective, but I can puzzle things out. Um, you're going to wander around just a tad more, see if you can't find anything else. Here we go, we've got the what, uh, the range tower up here. Call Gonzalez from your phone when you're ready. We'll check this out, and then I, I think I'll um make my final deductions. Eh, come on, wiggle, 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 wiggle. What's in here? Okay. So, location, section C, near watchtower, everywhere. Season inspecting it in my area. She bought a bigger and uglier bag. Season shouted at me again. Couple taking morning walk. Susan inspecting again. Overslept. What's Susan doing at night in my section? Had a look. Why is there a mushroom plantation I've never seen before? First school week equals school children dropping garbage everywhere. So much cleaning to do. Susan inspects my area again. She's collecting those weird mushrooms. I think she's seen me as well. She didn't come to shout at me. Mm. Suspicious. Down everything he observed. Okay, 
I'm going to make my final deduction. So we're going to call Susan if I can find my uh, phone. Because I'm not sure where my phone is. Because yeah, he's got matches. Two are missing. Autopsy report. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. Forensics found carbon monoxide in his lungs. One of his lower ribs was broken. Hill had traces of antidepressant medication in his system and the last things he consumed. See, it's much le less likely to be a suicide because he had lower ribs were broken. What? Why were his ribs broken? Curious. We've got a business card. Psychologist. Hmm. Or therapist. Apologies. Have you found all the evidence? Do you know how Mike died? Did you uh, do you know the murderer's name? Did you uncover the past? Once you call, there's no going back. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Maybe I want to get this right before I uh, <laughs> before I. I don't want to be too too rushed. I don't want to be too brash. So let's puzzle this out. So we know that the person that he was he took a phone call from. So if we go to answering machine, we know that Susan ha has a lot to lose. Now Susan is also collecting weird mushrooms. Susan inspecting again. Susan shouted at me again. Um, crumpled note. And a yearbook. Oh! Hello! I'm solving cases. I've got everything under Susan. control here. All right. Susan. It seems like you're having trouble getting on your feet. Susan. I stuck my neck out for you. You could at least try. I'm trying. That was a one-time thing, Gonzalez. Why can't you just let it go? But why? Because why would Susan right. do that? You have responsibilities, Price. You can't come to work drunk and expect everything but, to but, be okay. But I'm fine. Look, I. Brittany. I was supposed to fire you immediately, but I respect you, Price. Thank you. You're a good officer. Uh huh. So please don't make me regret my decision. I won't. All right. Promises. Okay. Just let me go do my job. Report. The last things he consumed was lasagna and coffee. But there were two coffees, so he was with someone. Could he have gotten into an argument with Susan regarding his position? But then why does he have cancer? I am the worst detective ever. Um, okay, th I'm going to hypothesize right here. So he had a broken, he had an action figure from Jason for Mike. I think Jason was dating Susan. Mike was jealous about this. Um which we can observe here. <laughs> or I should say Mike was jealous of Jason dating Susan because that is alluded to. The coffee mugs, there's one full and one empty. Um, so it was either Mike or Susan. Now, I'm going to guess that Mike found out that Susan was cheating on Jason? Or should I say that Jason was cheating? Well, no, what? Jason found that out that Susan was cheating with Mike. Let's do this. I I don't know where I am with my whole scatterbrained theory, but let, let's see Sorry. what we're doing. I think I've got the crime solved. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, oh God. there is no going back. Yes. Okay. I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. Do I? I don't it. think I do. First question. First question. Did you find out how, Mike died? how Mike died? Well, he was set on fire, so matches. Then we had a gasoline can, and something had to break his ribs. Something had to break his ribs, so a vase. There was a struggle in the house. Okay, I see. But what happened in the hours before the murder? He was given an action figure as reconciliation by Jason, um, which didn't go too well. They had coffee together, and something, something broken action figure to go with the um, thing there. Interesting. Now, who do you suspect to be the murderer? J Jason. Oh God. Okay, hold on. Uh, I can't, I can't, can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. I need. Okay, I think it's Jason. Jason. I see. But well, tell me, what did you find out about the victim's past? 
um, um, obituary, and, oh, panics, panics, and newspaper, perhaps? And the newspaper, the yearbook's relevant. Oh, God. I think there's more to it. What did you find out about the murderer's past? The murderer, oh, the murderer's past. Okay, there was the crumpled invitation. Oh, the murderer's past. Crumpled invitation and and cytotoxin. Toxan. The connections you're drawing today Whoops. seem random at best. I'm sorry. So go back to the police station first. We'll have a closer look into it. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go back to the police station and uh, figure out what actually happened because I'm a bit of a scatterbrain when it comes to puzzly puzzle things. So, <laughs> whoops. I'm sure it was Jason! There were signs for struggle in the home. Which was via the vase. And then... We had the broken toy. Which could have been from high school. Because that was gifted to Mike from Jason. I'm, I'm actually legitimately interested now. As to what, what this could be. Because... Yeah, bit of a scatterbrain here. Let's see what it was. Listen, Chief. I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know, I took therapy for years. I learned to cope. But then I got cancer. It's like I'm being punished for something. At least, that's how I felt. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I bullied. Oh, okay, Mike wasn't the one suffering from cancer. I figured I'd make amends. So I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was like I was in a trance. So, I picked up a vase, and yep. I kept hitting him. And hitting him until he was lying on the floor. I assumed it was a struggle, so I was Once right there. I realized what I'd done. I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it on fire. But he asphyxiated. He didn't die from the, the injuries. I should know best that death is permanent. You found 16 pieces of evidence. Question score of three or five. Broken action figure, gasoline can, and all that jazz. Okay. So, I was right. Okay, I was right. It was Jason. I incorrectly assumed that Mike was the one suffering from cancer. But then that, that should have made sense to me because mixing antidepressants with certain um, certain chemotherapy drugs do doesn't go together. So I should have probably worked that out. But yeah, the, the past of bullying... Um, of Jason bullying Mike. That came together. So I got a score of 3 out of 5. Which, although, <laughs> yeah, it's not the best for a scatterbrained bat. I'm actually pretty, ha uh, pretty happy I, I, I'm, I worked that out. I'll most certainly take that. But yeah, this is a, a, a very good game. Um, the graphics are wonderful. It's actually got a bit of a puzzle element together. Scorch is a beautiful name for, like, just the game and the whole idea behind it. You've got the, the, the wonderfully set out trees with the the em emblazoned leaves. Ah, oh, it, it's gorgeous aesthetics. Very special thanks, Katharina Kafka, for believing in us before we knew who we were. Crafted with love and care by Ellie's Lunchbox. But yes, this has been Scorch, a detective novel thing. You have just seen me bumble all my way around it, being the bumbling bat detective that I am. But unfortunately, it does come to that shill 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 bit of the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment and subscribe. If not, that's perfectly fine as well. Those sorts of things can go and be misinterpreted, much like I misinterpreted many a thing in this video. But yes, thank you once again for watching our videos. I hope you have a wonderful evening and good night.